This slide uh, basically talks about the six sigma in detail, wherein we focus sigma, four sigma, five sigma, six sigma, and uh, higher the sigma is, the lesser the defects are. Okay. If any organization is running at six sigma, we would call it as a, it has only 3.4 defects in a million opportunities. If there are million kind of opportunities available on which uh, it is being worked upon, and at the end of the at the end of the year or at the end of the quarter or maybe a month, I can only see 3.4 defects. Uh, then only I call a Six Sigma kind of a environment. Okay, so that is Six Sigma. So, so Simon, uh, do we have any any industry uh, in India or somewhere who who has achieved this successfully and been consistent over maintaining Six Sigma quality? Yes, there are many, many organizations who are working Six Sigma uh, and who are working more than Six Sigma also. Actually, there so, is one success story with the uh, Mumbai Dabbawalas. Oh, Allah, okay, yeah, it, it hit me, it, like, it clicked in my mind, yeah, Dabbawalas in Mumbai, uh, Prince Charles or somebody came to meet them. Yeah, okay. All right. Yes, absolutely, yeah, because uh, their consistency uh, their customer satisfaction is commendable. Uh, they they work on the principles, you know, which nobody works on, because their their system is such in such a place that they never create any kind of a defect, and they've been running for ages, like, and uh, they they have a system in place that which is clearly in short that what what kind of a customer is required, uh, what kind of a food, and it has never ever happened. Uh, that they have taken an off or it is closed only during the COVID situation. Uh, and that was also very remarkable that they were, they, they were supposed to close it, but, uh, no matter what the situation is. And, you know, in Mumbai, there's a lot of climate change as well. So that's, that's one of the success stories, but all the big brands that you can hear, like, uh, uh, the Tata's, the Motorola's, uh, the, uh, the companies like uh, insurance companies like ICICI, the HDFCI, the Max Life, uh, the Max Bupa. Uh, in if I talk about in telecom, you talk about Vodafone, Bharti. All these companies have reached. And when I'm saying Six Sigma, Six Sigma is not for a organization. Let's try and let's try and understand that very well. Likewise, ISO जो होता है वो पूरी organization का होता है. That as an organization, I am an ISO certified. Six Sigma is for different, different processes. So in Vodafone, in Airtel, there are different, different processes like procurement process, uh, McDonald's also, okay. They are using Six Sigma. They have reached to Six Sigma, but for different, different processes. Okay. Not for the entire organization. Maybe they have done it for all the processes, but for different, different processes or different, different functions. Also. If you talk about, if you talk about manufacturing, uh, all the big brands, uh, you talk about Nestle, uh, they have reached Six Sigma. Okay. Uh, uh, if, you, uh, if you talk about uh, PNG, Procter & Gamble, they have also reached sort of Six Sigma. Okay. So Six Sigma have been attained by a many organizations, but the challenge is to sustain it. Challenge is to sustain. Nokia was a key leader in the market. And as you all know, but they did not focus on the continuous improvement. They thought that, you know, they have reached to a stage wherein uh, nobody can take the customers away, but they did not focus on the continuous improvement. Reaching Six Sigma is not difficult. Sustaining Six Sigma is challenging. And that's what we are going to discover in the control phase of Six Sigma, that how to control, how to sustain, what are the different tools and techniques which would help me to identify whether my process is in control or not whether there's any special cause of variation or not. We will talk about that in detail also. But uh, Ratan, just to answer to your questions, in every in every industry that we look at, there are many companies who are who have reached Six Sigma. And uh, there's a question to all of you. There are certain industries who works on more than Six Sigma. Can someone name them? Uh, I think I've heard of uh, this um, a pit, pit stop. Uh, I think it's Shell. No, I, I'm not, I don't remember the name, but Pit Stop is one of the organization who ensure that in three or five milliseconds they fix the racing cars during the race when the race is ongoing. Absolutely, that's that's perfectly all right. Uh, however, my question is, what sort of industries, not the oh, company, industry. okay, industry, industry, 
So that will have to be an industry which is <clears throat> which is doing something that is very critical and failure would not be acceptable in yeah, any form. So I, I, if I were you know betting man, I would say someone uh, like <clears throat> I would say uh, Intel would be one or. Uh, you know, some company that is manufacturing medicines, etc. Yeah, medical, medical industry. Absolutely, absolutely. So, so medicine, uh, so medical medicine industry is the one which focuses on more than Six Sigma, because if you just think for a while, if yeah. in a medicine, if in a medicine, these the salt or the or any sort of uh, alcohol which is there in medicines, if there is one point. 0.0001 milligrams or milliliters extra in it, it will change the medication. It will not treat the patient properly. Yeah, so, and some people do go in anesthesia and they don't get back to life. That is what. Huh. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So, so some medication industry is the one who focuses on more than six. Any other industry that you can think of, which, which I'm sure everybody must have used at least once in their life. Uh, just, just give you a hint. Semiconductor, I mean, uh, a semiconductor industry like Intel. I'm talking about an industry which we have experience also. We have used that service always. Apart from medical. Apart from medical. Apart from medical, yeah. yeah. Airlines. Travel in, airlines. Airlines. Absolutely. Airlines. airlines. Fatalities. Fatalities. Okay. Yeah. So, so uh, you cannot say that eight million may. Teen flights can teen flights crash to Jekito Chalega. Nay Chalega, no? It is, it is, it is such a critical kind of an industry. So they focus on 100 Six Sigma, 100 Sigma, 200 Sigma, which, you know, we can't even think of. So that's what the focus is on. The, the intent of showing you this slide is that you can see that I'm just taking an example of one of them and you can, you can refer, you will have these slides and you can refer that. If I talk about the baggage handling process, okay, in three sigma, it means in a million, around 3000 odd customers are not able to get their luggage. Okay. When you talk about four sigma, it has reached from 3000 to 340. The moment the sigma change, the, the defects are reduced. In five sigma, only 12. In six sigma, six percentage with mis misplaced luggage every month. Okay. So, that's what the focus is. The higher the sigma is, the lesser the defects is. And therefore, uh, it is very, very important to look at what the current level of the sigma is. And at the end of the project also, we do a pre and post and see that from what level of sigma have I attained. Apart from what I have achieved, maybe the metric that I'm going to improve, maybe a productivity, maybe efficiency, maybe turnaround time, maybe quality, maybe CSAT, maybe uh, efficiency. But apart from that, I also want to look at what kind of a sigma level that I've attained, which gives me a uniformity measurement that where have I reached. Okay. So we will focus on DPMO uh, in the measure phase. I will, this is called defects per million opportunities. Okay. We will, I will also help you calculate on your own uh, that you, you would be able to calculate DPMO. So most, most of you are GB trained and uh, I'm sure you must have uh, learn these techniques, but we will do a recap also of DP, DPM also. So this is this is uh, just the introduction of Six Sigma we have done today, so far, uh, wherein we have learned about what is Six Sigma, what are the industries where Six Sigma can be applied, what are the improvements that we can go uh, from Six Sigma, and from X Sigma to Y Sigma, uh, what sort of improvements we can, you know, expect. And we also talked about different methodologies which are used in Six Sigma and what are they are. So up till now, we were just focusing on the introduction phase to the Six Sigma. And uh, now there's a topic which is slightly uh, different from Six Sigma, which we are going to talk about today. And there's a relevance today. Uh, before we get into the defined phase of the Six Sigma, we need to know that particular topic uh, for us to understand some of the basic concept and that name of the topic is basic stats.